Yesterday, we took into custody a 55-year-old SeaTac man who is suspected of the 1987 murders of Jay Cook and Tanya Van Kylenberg. William Earl Tabbitt II has been booked into the Snohomish County Jail on one count of first-degree murder on a warrant out of Skagit County. We took him into custody yesterday around 6 p.m. in Seattle without incident. Today, he will be transported to the Skagit County Jail. In a minute, Sheriff Reichert will provide you additional details on that part of the process. Talbot was identified as a suspect through the process of genetic genealogy. With us today are Steve Arntraut, I'm sorry, Steve Armentraut and CC Moore from Parabound Nanolabs. CC is the genetic genealogist who worked on the case and she is here with us today on Skype. Steve and CC will provide details how the suspect's DNA which was collected in 1987 at the scene of Tanya's murder, was used to identify his ancestors, which in turn led us to the identification of Talbot. It was just a few weeks ago that I stood before you when we released composite images of what the suspect may have looked like based on DNA markers. Since then, we've received over 100 tips related to this case, and I really want to thank everyone that called in with information. Unfortunately, with Talbot, investigation, with Talbot in custody, the investigation still has more work to be done. Skagit and Snohomish County detectives are looking to speak with anyone who knew Talbot or knew of his activities in 1987 or 1988. He would have been 24 years old at the time of the crime and living in Woodenville. We would like to speak with anyone who saw Talbot with the Cook family van, which is identified here, in November of 1987. In addition, detectives are still looking for the Minolta X700 camera, similar to the one that is pictured here, that Tanya had in her possession at the time that she was murdered. It is possible that the camera was in Talbot's possession or that he gave it to someone he knew. In addition, we're also looking for information about the blanket that you see identified here. This was the blanket that Jay Cook was found wrapped in. It did not belong to Jay or Tanya, and their families have never seen it before. It is possible that someone might know where Talbot could have acquired a blue blanket like this, or know where this type of blanket might have come from around the time the murders were committed. So to reiterate, we are looking for anyone who knew Talbot in the late 1980s, who saw him with this van or with this camera, or has information about the blue blanket. All tips can, re can be referred to the Snohomish County Sheriff's Office anonymous tip line number, which is on the posters, but I'll give you the number as well. That number is 425-388-3845. Again, our tip line number is 425-388-3845. Before I turn the podium over to Sheriff Reichert from the Skagit County Sheriff's Office, I just want to take a moment to thank the detectives and investigators who never gave up on this case. Uh, it's a difficult thing for us, uh, but candidly, this is what we do our job for.